In this video, I'm going to go over how to control the SD50 status display in timer mode using the Pro Editor software. From the main page, I'm going to choose the timer tile. You can see the different configurations that we can set up here. So I'm going to start by changing our count to 30 seconds and do direction down, which means the display is going to count down from 30 seconds to zero. And I'm gonna have my auto restart disabled. So once it hits zero, it's not gonna continue. My bar graph orientation, I'm going to change to three. And if you hover over that, you can see that means that the graph is going to decrease from this one side here to this three side. I'm gonna leave my display bar graph checked so we can see it progress. We're going to have the bar graph only unchecked, which means it'll either display these data labels or the display text. I am going to choose display slim bar graph. So the bar graph only takes up a portion of the display. Lastly, I'm going to click display level as time. So it's in the minutes and seconds format. For my data labels, I'm going to change these since we are counting down. I'm going to put remaining equals. I'm going to keep my value label at seconds and I'm going to change my decimal places to zero. So we get whole seconds. And what this does is when there's not a text in the display text field, then it'll show the data label, the count value, and then the value label on the screen. So I want those to show up in the middle threshold. So I'm going to leave those two middle thresholds empty. When we start at a value of 30 seconds, I want the display to say start. And when we are reaching the end of the count, I'm going to have the display say complete. For the colors and animations. When we start, I'm going to have it be steady green. As it progresses, I'm going to make the display be steady yellow. And these are the LEDs on the side of the display. Then when we get even farther down the count, I am going to have it intensity sweep red to let the operator know we're nearing the end. And my last setting I'm going to have is steady red with the display showing complete. For my percentages, I did some quick math, but you can also hover over these percentages to see the seconds value. So I'm going to change this to 3%. If I hover over that, I see that's one second. So this last one second, it'll show steady red on the side LEDs and complete on the display. I'm going to change this to 17%, which you can see is five seconds. Then I will have this all the way at 90% and this at 100%. So I'm going to click right to write it to the device. If at any point you want to use these settings in this exact configuration, you can press the demo settings button and it'll populate everything I've done here. Now I'm going to disconnect the SD50 from Pro Editor and plug it into my control device. First, I'll turn on power on the brown wire to get the SD50 to turn on. So now we're at our first state where we say the start display text and show green LEDs. I'm going to start my timer input. We're counting down in seconds. Now you can see we go to the next state with yellow LEDs, counting down from 30 seconds. And then after a few seconds pass by, we're going to go into the next state, which is still counting down, but is intensity sweep red. And then from there, once we end, we get the complete display text. If at any point we want to restart, we can click the black wire and it starts the sequence all over again. If we take power off of the white wire, it will stop the time. And then if you turn power on the white wire again, it will resume. 
This has been a configuration demonstration for the SD50 status display. Check out our other SD50 demo videos for additional control modes.